So the first misconception that I'd like to address uh, that Muslims have is concerning the Bible, the book that the Christians read. Uh, all Muslims are required as a condition in their faith to believe in what they call the four true books. They call them the four haq kitab. And those four haq kitab, according to Muslims, are Tevrat, Zebur, Injil, and Quran. These first two books, Tevrat and Zebur, are, according to Muslims, books that are books for the, Mus or for, for the Jews alone. They're the, the Jewish books. The Injil is the Christian book, and the Quran is the Muslim book, but they also would say it's the book for all mankind. So they're required to say they believe and they place their faith, their Iman in those books, except for they do one thing. They say that the Tevrat, Zebur, Injil, the Tevrat and Zebur were the Jewish books, the Injil, the Christian book. These have been Tahrif, or they've been changed and corrupted. And so, because of that, the Quran came and it basically encompasses the message of all of the books. So when it comes to Christians, what do they believe? Well, they believe that God sent Jesus down from heaven a book called the Injil, and that was the book for the Christians. And now that that book's been changed and corrupted and everybody's gone astray, they had to have a new book. So that's a general understanding of what they have about the books that Christians and Jews believe and the Quran. Now the problem is, is that is a very huge misconception. So when you're talking with a Muslim, you need to understand their mindset and what they're thinking behind what they believe a Christian believes. So what I like to do is I like to explain to them that um, actually the, there is really no such thing as a Tevrat, Zebur, or Injil. In fact, there is what we call the Old Testament and the New Testament. And that these two books, the Old Testament and New Testament, are, in, are talking about one story, they're talking about one trajectory, and it's focused on one person in one event. And it's all the same story, it's all the same book. And the Muslims are always shocked to think and see that you mean you as Christians also read the Tevrat and Zebur? You mean you read the Old Testament too and you believe that? And we, of course, say yes, because it's integral. You cannot have one without the other. That is the first misconception that is easily uh, addressed with a Muslim, is explain them, no, Christians read all of these books and they're together. But in fact, the, New, the Old Testament is not just two parts, as they have been taught. It's actually made up of 39 parts. And the Injil, the New Testament, is not just made up of one part or one book. It's actually made up of 27 different parts. And it's really helpful to go through all of these books and show how they're integrated with the Muslim. So that is one of the first misconceptions they have about uh, Christ the, the Bible, is they think that it's uh, all chopped up in these different uh, pieces and that it's been changed and corrupted.